Greetings everyone. Welcome to another edition of Elite Chronicles with your host Buckrabbit. Today we're going to be plotting a course over to our home system of our squadron. It's over in Soundy, but we're going to take a nice scenic route. So when we set the course, we will be going over here. We're going to Soundy. So just type that in there. And we'll be going to be using an ep economical route. So we we'll search for that. Plot the course. It's only 88 light years, so that's good. Let's see how many jumps that gives us. That gives us 13 jumps. And what we're going to be doing along the way is scanning all of the systems. So here we go. We're fully fueled don't need anything else so it's where we go in the Cobra yes we're still using auto launch Ooh, Ferdinand's very pretty Ferdinand's let's just skip that little bit and it's the way we go we can get out of mass lock from the station at our first waypoint. We're out of mass lock, so we can jump. And that's where we go. Now the reason why I'm using the economical route is to get enough, plenty of scans along the route. Maybe look for some undiscovered, maybe. Because what tends to happen is that people get really good jump ranges in the bubble so they jump over most of the systems that you can actually visit and hopefully we'll catch a few that haven't been discovered yet so as soon as we arrive we set our scoop we just want to be close to the sun but not too close you see the way that it's turned red on me there well that's where we want to be but we don't want to be so close that it overheats us. And there's our next jump. Oh, before we jump, let's have a quick look, see if there's anything interesting. There isn't. The area that we're looking for is here. And this is the full spectrum sat scanner where you can filter for different things. But we'll have a, I'll give you a better explanation when we find, actually find something to look at. A lot of this is just going to be jump, honk, scoop, repeat. So I might actually speed up time at some point. So you see that spike in the centre HUD that comes up from the sun? If you stay at the top of that spike, you shouldn't overheat. But you should get a decent amount of fuel scooping without overheating. There's 20 bodies in this system. Let's get away from the sun a little bit. Each body is you know, either a sun or a moon or a planet of some description. And the way we look at those, we press apostrophe on a UK QR. You have to check your bindings. But essentially, all of these are planets on the center display. As you can see, all of these have been di actually discovered already. But you can just home in and scan the bits. Obviously, there's nothing there that we haven't discovered already. So we'll continue jumping. And there's 11 jumps left. You'll see other little signals, and they're unidentified signal sources, which we're not going to go into right now. When we get to Sam T, then uh, 
we'll be able to explore and do things a little bit different. So we jump, scoop. There's only one body in the system and that's the sun we're at. So we just go over the sun, aim for our next destination and away we go. This pretty much sums up exploration. <laughs> Sometimes it can be a bit boring, but uh, when you do find something, it's really, really fun. And it's just like you know, getting there is half the half the battle. So there's four bodies in this system. Let's see what they are. Yeah, there you go. You see that that blip in the center? We're going to find that blip and see what it is. It's not that. It's moving around. We're going to match that up. We're going to follow the line. If not, we'll just have to look around. I bet it's behind the sun. They're always behind the sun. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. And that's what we're homing in on. It's probably a gas giant. And yes, it is. Here we go. One gas giant. Onwards we continue. When you're exploring, what you're looking for is undiscovered and interesting planets like ammonia planets, earth like planets, or any sort of terraformable. So, water worlds, uh, high metal content, they're, you know, they, they can all be tra transformable and terraformable, so they're worth more. And that's basically what we're after, really. Because that's worth more for cartographics. When we get to Soundsea, we'll sell our cartographic data. Because if you're more than 20 light years from your point, then it's worth money. So we're going to enter the FSS again. See if there's anything that's been not been discovered. All of that's already been discovered. This is where we're looking in the full spectrum spanner for spanner, <laughs> Earthlight scanner for Earthlight worlds. When you're flying around the bubble, though, most of these systems will be inhabited. Scoop off of that. Oh, we've discovered an F, F type star and a Y type star. And a K type star. Well, that was in interesting. Astronomical bodies found. G type star. Wow, that's a lot of stars. And there's 53 bodies in this system. So that's moons and planets. So let's have a look, see what we've got. Lots of undiscovered stuff by the look of it and it looks like this system is undiscovered entirely which is very surprising we might actually get a, a first discovery on that where are you there's nothing of particular interest here so what we're going to do we're going to skip over that and keep going I mean you can scan everything in the system and they're all worth money, but really what you're after is the terraformables or earth lights or water worlds. 
or ammonia welds or high metal content planets they're the ones that are worth the money So that's the four suns that you can see there, or stars. How many jumps we have? Six jumps. Jim Jimmy's is online. Hey Jimmy. I have made a, made a lot of friends in this game. It's, you know, for the most part, the community here is really good. They're always trying to help. Really friendly. They're the old, you know, they're the odd bad apples but you get that in any game for the most part elite is very good there's only two bodies in this system so onwards to Quazha Quazahui some of the names just made me laugh but on long journeys your mind wanders five jumps Hopefully what this will do will increase my exploration rank enough so we can unlock our first engineer. It's 25 in this system. All discovered. So we'll just keep going. This is basically exploration, really. Just travelling around, seeing what's there. If there's anything good, you go and have a closer look. We're in no danger of running out of fuel at this point. Not where we are. Let's see what's in this system. Apparently this system is a bit empty too. But by doing this economical run, I'm really hoping that we increase our, our ranking for exploration. Because it should give us scout, I believe. At the moment, I'm mostly aimless. So we need to get up to scout to unlock Felicity Farseer. And the ranks I'm on about are over here. So we're mostly aimless. 87% mostly aimless. But from now on we will actually set fastest route for everything. That's another five light years. Anything of interest? Not particularly. Let's carry on. 
Onwards. Only two jumps left. Scan, scoop, honk. I don't think there's anything of interest here. There's just one icy body. Probably not worth worrying about. But, you know, let's show, actually, let's show you the detailed surface scanner. It's already been discovered. Oh, there's quite a few, actually. Quite a few icy bodies. But we're going to scan all of them and then we're going to see if any are of, of any particular interest. So you just use the mouse and, or you can use a joystick just to lock on and zoom in and that will scan the planet. This is a long range scan, really. Those other ones are uh, USS points. We've got three more to go. Actually tells you in the top right how many bodies are left. And then once you've scanned all of the bodies, it says that. So let's exit out of there and travel to the nearest one. is this one. We're going to use Super Cruise Assist. But say for example if this was uh, an Earth-like or an ammonia world or a water world, this is exactly what you'd be doing. You'd be travelling over to it. For the sake of this, we will disable Super Cruise Assist. But we will still be going there because we don't actually want to drop out. We want to stay in Super Cruise to use the surface scanner. Plus, the fact we can get there a bit quicker. Super Cruise Assist is great for a number of things but not this it'll get you get you there but you really need to disable it before you get dropped out because you can't use the surface scanner in normal space so we'll just get there real fast wait until it's nice and big but when you get to this moon It starts to fill your screen. It's just coming into view now. I mean, strictly speaking, this is a planet. It's not a moon. So I get nice and close. Basically, what we're waiting for is the surface scanner to say you can scan it. So we activate the surface scanner and what we want to do is launch a probe at the front and a probe at the back. The bar is the equator. So if you want to scan the back of the planet just go to where it says miss and scan. And then two on the equator. So one on that equator and one on that equator. You don't have to be exact, but it's pretty good if you get a hundred percent efficiency bonus. 
you'll actually see a percentage in the bottom left. And there we go. We got an efficiency target bonus. Basically it means we got more money for it. For doing it with less than four probes. Well, four probes or less. The bigger planets, you can use 20, 25, pla 25 probes. But now we're going to finish our jump over to Sounty. Here we are. Home sweet home. I mean, there's a lot of things in picking your home system. This is where my squadron is. So this is where I intend for this account to live. Because I know what's in the local. And I know what I can do. And tank station is home base. And that's where we're going to go. Again, we are scanning as we go. We're scanning for ships where we can get data off them. And you can see that that's the Terrorhawk Defense Directorate, which is our faction in this particular section of space. Yep, they're all Terrorhawks. And two systems away from here is a lovely little place called Baran, where I'll show you real mining. But hopefully, as long as we've got the exploration rank of Scout, we'll be unlocking an engineer in the next episode. Just drop in on Tang. Ask my pals to put the kettle on. And we'll have a cup of coffee. There we go. Home sweet home. Still got the auto dock, but I think we're going to do a manual landing. I'm looking forward to this since uh, I got this account. Getting him over here. Let's get him over here. Get him docked. Get him. Get the cartography sold. Pad 28, and uh, Pad 28 is above us. Put the landing gear down. And here we go. I'll let the auto dock finish it off. Now, once we're here, Go to Starport Services, refuel, go to Universal Carter Graphics, let's see what we've got. Alright, we can sell this page, confirm, and there we go. Did we discover something? I don't think we did. Uh, these two, we're not far away enough to sell the data, but we do have... We should have a nice message from the Terrorhawks Defense Directorate. And there we go, we're promoted to Scout. Excellent. And here's our invitation to Felicity Farcia, who is our first engineer that we're going to unlock. 
and I'll show you how to do that in the ne next episode of Elite Chronicles. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again. Bye for now.